every single death is different. So again, all I can do is make sure that I'm here, make sure that I'm connected, so that I can be there, present, as that's happening, as I'm witnessing it happen. So, this is what happens to us. This is what distorts the cells in our body. I like this slide. The tiny seed knew that in order to grow, it needed to be dropped in dirt, covered in darkness, and struggle to reach the light. So can anybody identify with that? <laughs> I used to think, why am I here in this family? I don't belong in this family. You know, all oh, this is happening to me in this family. You know, and, but, as I have healed a lot of the issues, and I don't believe we're ever truly done healing, but as we continue to heal, we awaken the light inside of us. As we push out the old story, we awaken the light. And that's really what enlightenment is. To become enlightened is that we let go of the story and we embrace who we truly are. Is that pure being, the pure being that we came here as. When we grow up in a home that is unloving and displays unhealthy behaviors, I get feedback from this other mic, Kathy. We get covered in dirt. As a child, the dirt is hard for us to remove or clear away because we have no tools to help ourselves. We trust that our parents have the tools. But if our parents forgot who they truly are, if our parents forgot about the connection to life or their issues got in the way, they just could not give to us what, you know, they might have been able to if the issues were not in the way. They just couldn't. So they gave to us what they could. And for some, maybe that was nothing. But that doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside of you. What you came here with is what matters. So our distorted perception of self allows us to carry our story, so much so that we then become the story. We become the darkness. Because now we're all full of bitterness. You know, that my mother was never there for me. You know, and nobody ever comforted me. Nobody ever showed me. You know, so we then become the story. Because the cells in our body carry that story all within our body. So now we, are, we become it. And we embrace it as us. As who we are. Until we wake up. And we ask ourselves, there's got to be more to life than this. Maybe we get sober. You know, maybe we, you know, find ourselves in trouble. And somehow we ask ourselves, there's got to be more. More than this pain that we're carrying. Something happens in our life to shift that for us and wake us up. But some people will get shook up many times and never awaken, never awaken. They'll die that way. They'll die bitter, angry, resentful. They'll carry that their whole lifetime and never awaken. But they go to this place that they call the resting place. And because I didn't know the language, I didn't know this part in our teachings until Alfred told me that there really is a place that they, it's like the resting place. But what the Spirit showed me is that we go there, our soul goes there, and we have to look at our life. We have to look at what we did and what awakened for us and what didn't awaken. And when spirit says, you see that man over there? I 
said, yeah, that man was really mean to me. I don't like that guy. And they say, Son Guayariso says, well, you asked that man to be your husband, and you asked that man to be your darkness, because he was going to awaken a lot inside of you. So that man, I don't want nothing to do with that man. He was a terrible husband. And some Guayariso says, well, you know, that was for a reason. That darkness came into your life so that you would awaken the power of forgiveness inside of you. So that you would clear out all that darkness and be so bright with forgiveness that it wouldn't matter what was happening here because what matters is what's inside of you and that you awaken the gift of forgiveness. The lesson was about forgiveness. Forgiveness? I was supposed to forgive that man the way that he treated me? How awful he was? What he did to me? Yes. So, we ask those people before we come here to this lifetime to be our dark. So think about somebody in your life that has been your darkness, that has caused you heartache, that has caused you pain. You ask that person to be that darkness. And that darkness said to you, that person that agreed, that soul that agreed to be your darkness on earth, said, I'll be your darkness. When we go to that place, I'll be your darkness so that you can awaken your light. But I'm going to make myself so dark that you might forget that I'm doing this because I love you so much. I'm doing this for you because I love you so much. But you might forget me. And you as a soul 100% energy says, I'll never forget you. I'll never forget what you're doing for me.